हेलो एवरीबॉडी अ वॉम वेलकम टू वन एंड ऑल आई एम अभिलाष चंद्रा फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडीज इन विद्याश्रम पी कॉलेज द टेंपल ऑफ एक्सेलेंस सेशन थ्री वॉज डन एंड नाउ वी आर इन द सेशन फोर चैप्टर नंबर फाइव ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एंड द सेशन फोर योर इट इज फॉर यू दिस सेशन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू थिंक अबाउट योर एग्जामिनेशन वॉट एग्जैक्टली द सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट इट्स ऑल अबाउट द टॉपिक कॉल्ड डेलीगेशन वॉट इज इट डेलीगेशन मीन्स ट्रांसफर ऑफ अथॉरिटी एंड रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फ्रॉम योर सुपीरियर टू द सबॉर्डिनेट वॉट इज डेलीगेशन डेलीगेशन मीन्स ट्रांसफर द वर्ल्ड इज वॉट ट्रांसफर ऑफ अथॉरिटी एंड रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फ्रॉम हू विल एक्चुअली डू इट फ्रॉम द सुपीरियर टू द सबॉर्डिनेट ह्योर स्टूडेंट इट इज अ वन मार्क क्वेश्चन हैज वेल एज अ टू मार्क क्वेश्चन एंड द सेम क्वेश्चन कैन कम इवन फॉर योर फोर मार्क्स सो अंडरस्टैंड दिस यू विल कवर सेवन मार्क्स इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली डेलीगेशन इज थिंक अबाउट दिस राइट now it's again a temporary kind of arrangement what is this delegation is a temporary kind of arrangement when the superior who wants to go to some of the meetings or a board meeting or a trip what he does is he cannot do the work in his office so he transfer his authority and responsibility to a superior or to a subordinate he can't give it to the superior he need to give it to whom to the subordinate that is why it is always a downward movement it is what downward movement so the meaning which is for one mark as well as it it comes for the two marks now delegation is refers to the downward please understand it is what downward transfer of authority from superior to a subordinate one mark question aram se you will get it if it is like two marks what you should do you should write this as well as this one it is a prerequisite it is a prerequisite before it shall he'll just tell that yes i'm going to give it to you because i need to go somewhere so it is a prerequisite to the efficient functioning of an organization because it enables a manager whom a manager to use his time on high priority activities now understand here he need to think about something else that is also the reason where he'll give a delegation i'll give you a simple example guys now msd was there now you all know that msd is all the favorite right now when msd was the captain of india and he was leading india he needs some time to rest what is that he will do he will actually tell the vice captain to be the captain now what it does it is again a delegation transferring his authority to the vice captain now the vice captain becomes the captain that is how virat kohli actually moved his career now this is what it is now the what is it high priority now he need to get rest so that he can play a bigger game than what he is actually right now he is playing so what it is delegation is also that where it is prerequisite so this is the meaning and now we all move on with elements of delegation guys elements of delegation is a four mark question please understand elements of delegation there are three elements of delegation that is one is authority next is responsibility and the third one is called accountability what are they there are three now if you get this for four marks what you should do is write the meaning you get one mark next you have accountability you have authority you have responsibility if you write it you get four marks i'll tell you i'll explain you what is this authority responsibility and accountability please understand in the previous session if you go with function structure and division structure right the entire process there is called as delegation though decentralization was there delegation is also there in that particular thing now you have something called authority responsibility accountability i'll give you example of all these things now we had the structure right we had something called here managing director now this managing director is there here you have three of the one is hr then you have marketing then you have here called research and development okay now what happens this element of delegation in the absence of managing director he goes to some particular conference which is there in the international level which is there in some of the foreign country now he need to delegate his authority his work to somebody now what he does is he chooses 
the hr manager now this hr manager goes here now he will be acting managing director now what happens here is now he is given the delegation that means transferring authority to whom from the superior to the subordinate now it is again a temporary one the minute the md comes from the foreign he comes from the foreign again what happens is hr will come back and the md will actually take his position this is what the delegation happens here now what exactly it is it's a downward movement what is it it's a downward movement now authority now this hr who is now the current md he will get what authority now the md who was there who before going to the international trip what he'll do prerequisite he'll go with prerequisite okay now something important is that that's why he is going he's not going only for a trip or something he's going because there is a need from the organization that's why he is going now he need to transfer his authority to whom to the hr now the hr manager who was in the middle level he's no more in the middle level he is in the top level now this marketing manager as well as research development team should also listen to him that's why authority is given now this is what authority is now authority is done now responsibility now responsibility means what whatever the md used to do it or the things which he was supposed to accomplish this hr manager now he is here no he is here now hr now he need to be responsible enough and he should do the work properly and get the work done efficiently and effectively that is what his responsibility is now he should minimize the conflict i'll tell you he should avoid conflict and he should move on that is what the company wants him to do it in the absence of md now why only the hr manager is been selected it can be a marketing manager it can be a research and development manager but why hr manager because in that particular company they thought that the hr manager is better than marketing manager or the r and d manager he they have seen something in the hr manager that is he can actually come to the top level and he can do something to the organization next here what happens accountability the minute accountability i'll tell you it's very complicated but still i'll tell you in this accountability you cannot transfer accountability to anybody that means you can actually see authority i can transfer okay responsibility not everything but 90% of it i can't transfer but 10 of the person which is remaining i can transfer it but when it comes to accountability 100% you never transfer it the reason is you are authorized to be accountable to whom to the md that means the minute md comes from the foreign whatever happened in the organization should be given to whom to the md that is he should be accountable who will be accountable the hr manager is accountable to whatever happens and he should tell everything to the md minute to minute and day to day whatever happened he should actually give this is called elements of delegation so let's see the overview of elements of delegation what happens now we have this overview what here it is is we have divided into what like three things authority responsibility accountability this is a eight marks question please understand authority responsibility accountability is that you have a basis on what basis it is different from each other right now meaning authority what is the meaning of authority in the sense it is a right to command the hr manager have the right to command because he is now the present acting md that is what he plays the role here responsibility what it does it is obligation that means obligation means duty obligation to perform an assigned task whatever the md has told the hr manager to do it it is what he should do it it is not that he can't give it to somebody he should do it because it is obligation duty now accountability who will be accountable he is answerable who is answerable the hr manager is answerable because answerable for outcome of assigned task whatever happens whether the work is done or the work is not done who should actually report it the hr manager need to report to the md that is what happens when it is the basis is meaning what exactly it is now delegation what is delegation transferring authority right so what it is when it comes to authority can be delegated that means it can be transferred what is delegation transfer 
authority can it be transferred yes definitely it can be delegated when it comes to responsibility cannot be delegated but what happens is the entirely it cannot be delegated but some of the part you can give it that is what i told you right you can give it but when it comes to accountability you cannot that means you cannot transfer accountability see delegated means what transfer so you can't actually go with it you can't transfer your accountability you can transfer your authority minimal part of it you can or you may not that is the responsibility but when it comes to accountability you can never transfer it now origin where exactly it was started now arises from formal position md hr marketing research development that is a formal kind of a structure right there it arises here responsibility arises from delegated authority that means what who will actually give it that is subordinate or the superior right there is something called superior subordinate right who will actually give the superior can give the things to the subordinate and the subordinate should be responsible for whatever it is that is what it is next thing here arises from responsibility that means after responsibility is taken right then it starts the responsibility i have taken now i should be accountable whenever they ask me something the work is done or not now it will arise that is the origin now next thing is flow understand the flow properly here you have these thing okay now say here it is a b c here you have b dash and c dash now a has given something to b now delegation is given that is transfer of authority is done now he has the authority now who is responsible now authority flows from what top to bottom now that's the reason flow flow downwards what does it it flows downward from whom from the superior to the subordinate so it flows down the authority flows down that is from the top to the bottom it goes now responsibility who is responsible here b b is responsible to whom to a so what happens how the flow goes it goes from flows upward from subordinate to the superior where it goes it goes upward that is from the superior is here subordinate from the subordinate to the superior it goes now accountability what it is who is accountable now b is accountable to a whatever happened right he is accountable because he cannot transfer it to anybody now again what it does it is a upward movement that is what it is flows upward from subordinate to superior so these are the overview if you just write these four thing and then here you go with authority responsibility and accountability you get eight marks if the same question can come for the four marks aram so you can write this as the four marks also now the last topic for the day is importance of delegation what are the importance of delegation here you will have so many kind of points i'll tell you easy easy tricks how to remember it guys delegation just understand don't go with all these whatever i have written here what it is md is there managing director is there right here you have marketing hr and all research development whoever it is top level to bottom level i'll just give you a hint here okay now i'll go with the same example now we had something called a here we had b and c here it b dash and c dash understand authority flows from what top to bottom that is he is superior he is a subordinate when it comes here he is a superior he is a subordinate right that is what happens now understand what are the importance of delegation why delegation should be the transfer of authority responsibility and what it is accountability cannot be transferred right now effective management because a cannot do it he is busy with some other project he has given the delegation to b now b will carry forward it now what it is efficient management you will actually get the next thing is employee development now b is acting like a that means what he has come to the next level now whatever if he does whether it goes for a toss or if it goes for a hit what happens is there is something called development if it is a failure he'll learn from his experience right if it is a positive now what it is he can aram se be promoted now that means what there is a growth there is what there is a growth so it is what employee development there is a chance next motivation of employees now the minute b gets the delegation 
authority automatically when he gets what happens to the b dash now b dash has a motivation if i work like b then even i'll be getting those delegation i'll also be promoted now what it does it gives a motivation to whom to the employee in the same way here c is there and here you have the c dash they'll also feel that if we work right we don't need to be only in the same level we can also come we can also increase our salary we can also get more benefit more incentive the responsibility will be there we'll get called recognition so what happens they'll also follow the way b was working that is even they will be what they'll be efficient and effective and the way they work is also what healthy competition you will get through delegation next is it facilitation of growth i told you right b got something now b dash is also in the same level now why is that only b got the delegation because he is something extra than b dash i'll tell you here understand this being ordinary and extraordinary right what is it being ordinary and extraordinary there is something called a difference being ordinary and being extraordinary the difference is that extra what is it the difference is what that extra if you do that extra only then you are recognized when you are recognized what happens is automatically everything also flows but you need to recognize in a good way not that sir i am recognized in a bad way no you don't go with it you will get a demotion but if you get a recognition in a positive then definitely what happens is the hierarchical culture is there you will go to the next level that is the upward movement you will actually go here is that next basis of management hierarchy i told you right see i am explaining you everything in a detail so you will understand everything the minute you are here and you are doing performing good what happened hierarchical movement that is you will go up that is what it is better coordination the minute now understand when a was a boss C will not listen to B properly. He, he feels that he is only one step senior than me. The minute what happened, delegation is there. Now B goes to the A here till here he'll reach. Now what happens? C also feels okay. He is a hard worker. He is working really smart. He has all the potentiality. Even I should do whatever he is doing it. The reason why B got this delegation, whatever A used to tell, B used to do it and report it accountability. Now what happens is whatever b will tell to c what c will do c will also be accountable and he'll report it so what happens is coordination is maintained healthy relationship is maintained the work culture is also maintained so this is the importance of delegation now delegation is means what transferring of authority who will do it from superior to the subordinate now this is what happens why this delegation happens it can be like anything that person is not well he has been hospitalized his work should be done who will do it he should transfer it prerequisite now he has gone to a trip now what kind of a trip he has gone he would have taken a holiday he would have gone for an organization trip he would have gone for expansion and business whatever it is who will be doing the next his work b will be doing it but i'll tell you here please understand the minute b is doing a's work now who is doing b's work again b should only manage to do his work the reason is what he cannot transfer his responsibility he cannot transfer his responsibility 90 percent responsibility should be done by whom b the remaining 10 percent will be given to c saying that okay i'm busy right now with all the his work so please do my work but that is where you will feel the real importance of a leader as well as a manager saying that can you manage so this delegation is a word where it is like only when they feel that you can manage they'll give you that delegation if they feel that you cannot manage now they did not give the delegation to b dash the reason is he cannot manage is what they felt he can manage now he should prove to it that he can manage a's work as well as b's work without any kind of delay so this are the importance of delegation any doubt you have you know what exactly you should do come in and thank you so much for all the things what you people are doing to vidyashram and your business studies faculty abhilash chandra and i'll be giving you all act abhilash chandra tricks in the coming sessions please watch us bless wish and study more because the more you learn the more you earn 
I'll see you when I see you. Thank you guys.